Uh, Gary, looking ahead to another away game at Leighton Orient uh, tomorrow. Just finally, any further reflections, anything you may wish to add from uh, what in the end time would be a really good point at Wigan on Saturday? Yeah, we were really happy. I think it was a difficult game to prepare for. You see Wigan, the way they build, the way they rotate players. We had to be very good out of possession. I thought we contained them for, for large periods. It wasn't until later in the game when they started putting long free kicks in the box that they probably created their, their best chances. I think we can be better in possession. We've, we spoke as a group yesterday. Uh, the players came in and done a warm down, but obviously look back at the game and, and feel like we can be much better in not just the final third, but how we build through the pitch and how we create more opportunities in the final third. Uh, we can be better, but a brilliant point, you know, good character, uh, the squad, was used to you know to its its full in terms of the the finishers coming on, and it'll be the same again on Tuesday. We have to recover what which we have yesterday. Now it's full focus on Leighton Orient and, and winning on Tuesday. I was going to ask what does that short turnaround look like for the players because there isn't much time to rest, recover, and then prepare for that next game. Yeah, look, I think they're footballers. I think they know you know what what's needed in terms of their own bodies, the recovery. Uh, we had every player did the same thing yesterday. We had all players kind of recovering and preparing uh, because of the work that we had done after the game with, with the finishers or people who didn't come on. There was a training group here on Saturday morning. Most of those players had played a game on Tuesday. Uh, so, yeah, the, everyone is in the same position. Everyone is ready to play. It's now full focus, preparation on Leighton Orient. We'll show, you know, meeting this morning and then we'll have training and, and travel again. And we've got loads of time, I think, on the bus in the hotel tomorrow morning where we can put even more into the players so that we're fully prepared come kick-off. Uh, looking at our opponents then, it looks like they got a really good point at home to Wrexham at the weekend. They've won away at Stockport, drew with Peterborough, so seem like a really tough team to play against this season. Yeah, I think they are. I think all Richie Welland's teams are competitive. They're aggressive teams. They've changed slightly in terms of they're not dominating the ball as much uh, from what they were last season. And they're, they're a bit more direct. They're very aggressive in their press and how they come after you. Uh, Saturday, they changed slightly for Wrexham and actually had their best game in possession. Uh, so we, we have to be prepared, as we always do, I think, for a number of different things. And I think that's where I've been really pleased with the team this year, the progression we've made and how we can adapt to, to other teams, how we know... You know how to set up against the the different styles within this league. So once we go through everything, the, the work we're going to do in the training pitch, we'll we'll be ready for for whatever they do. I'm very fortunate in that respect that we have a, a squad of players that is capable just on the spot to make those on-field changes when needed. I think we've we've seen it before with you know switching Imi to the, the other side and, and things like that. Yeah, we have a lot of flexibility in how we can play. Uh, you know how we build, how we press. Uh, you seen on Saturday, it's probably the most we've sat off the game, but that understanding and how to do that, and at the right moments being aggressive with the, the eights jumping out to their full-backs, centre-backs being really aggressive with their tens. Uh, yeah, the understanding from the group in general has been really good. I think the flexibility we have when everyone is fit and how we set up, whether that be in or out of possession, is, is good. Uh, so we'll see how everyone is and, and pick a team that's you know ready to, to go and win. To take us back to towards the end of last season, a, a fantastic game up at Leighton Orient, a really late comeback when it looked like the game was gone. It did, yeah, and, and we know you know it's a difficult stadium to go to. It's it's a really tight stadium, uh, kind of not not your modern type of stadium. It's an old stadium that's kind of had different bits put onto it as as they've progressed in in recent years. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be a good atmosphere under the lights. We know from last season that, that they're a good team. Uh, so we have to be prepared for a really difficult game. It's always one that's well-travelled to by the supporters, and even in the midweek. looks like we're having at least over 500 there tomorrow night, which is absolutely fantastic for a midweek away game. Yeah, it's amazing. Look, to, to see what the players have to do to recover and to, to get ready for the game, the supporters, what they have to do, it's remarkable that they, they come back from Wigan. God knows what time they got home at, on Saturday night. They then have their Sunday. Some might even be working on that Sunday, but if not, I'm sure most are working on the Monday, the Tuesday. I don't know how they managed to find the time to get there. 
they're then probably getting home extremely late, working on the Wednesday. So, you know, as much as the players have to recover and be prepared, what our supporters do to be prepared to, to travel, the cost uh, that that has on them, not just financially, but on their, you know, their lives, it's, it's incredible and, and we really do appreciate it. I think we, we gave them something on Saturday, but hopefully Tuesday night we can give them even more. Jack Aitchison went off on, on Saturday. Could you tell us a little bit more if you know anything? Yeah, he, he took a knock on his knee, uh, which is, is swollen. We're hoping it's not too serious. It's, it's more a contact injury. Uh, today, it's, you know, I don't think it's going to reduce the swelling quick enough uh, in time for the game, but he'll work hard to try and do that and we'll see how he is right, right up till kick-off. Uh, no other concerns from Saturday's game? No, everyone else fine, ready to go.